Hi everyone, today I'll be talking about classes and changing classes to sync with your Warzone event. First of all, you click on your queen on a, and on the extreme left side, you click on class. This will bring up the class menu. There are three classes, cultivator, raider and herder. The cultivator is a peaceful, growth-focused class. It has the resource factory. It produces more resources for you. And every 12 hours, you can click on it to get yet even more resources. It protects your resources. And then you can gather faster. And your troop load when you gather is more. So you can send your troops to higher level plots to gather. The downside of being a cultivator is that it is no good at going to war. It has decreased troop attack when invading, decreased troop defense when invading, and it marches slowly. The raider and the herder are designed for warfare. The raider is a straightforward attacking class. Its building increases the pro much attack and defense with every level. The other boosts for, her, for the raider include increased um, uh, troop load when you're raiding, less dead ends, and increased healing speed. The downsides for the raider is that your production within your own hill is reduced so you get less plant meat, wet soil and sand as well as honeydew. Your troop load while you are gathering is also debuffed. The herder is a defense focused war ant. It has the resource tunnel. This building causes some conf confusion because it does many things. Every level of increasing your resource tunnel increases, increases your garrison attack and defense. So your alliance garrisoning your ant hill will be boosted by your being a herder. The herder's resource build panel also allows you to buy and sell um, resources for honeydew. You are also able to send extra resources that you have to other ants in your alliance. Buffs for the herder are increased honeydew output reduction of food costs and reduction of price in the ladybugs. The debuffs are increased uh, resources for when you lose on getting raided and decrease to healing speed. How is the herder a defensive end? What you are meant to do is to raise the resource tunnel building and uh, with your extra resources, whatever you have left, you send them to your alliance. And then have all your alliance raiders um, uh, send their troops to garrison your base. So they will receive your uh, increased garrison buff. And then to bait... Um, uh, enemy raiders into attacking you, uh, you produce more honeydew and then uh, if they win, then uh, it is against an uh, enemy with buffed defense, so they deserve to win um, more resources. So that is how the game is balanced. If your zone is mostly peace peaceful, 
It is simple enough to just be a cultivator most of the time. There's no point to take the Raiders debuff to production re reduction um, for most of the week. You might as well produce at your regular rate, if not more, if you are not needing to attack other players, other active players within your own zone. During peace times, the herder's main buff is the increase in honeydew production and uh, the ability to purchase resources with diamonds through their resource tunnel. The honeydew buff is negated more or less now with the introduction of the force events. Every rally against one of the creatures um, uh, produces quite a lot of honeydew. So even the cultivators and the raiders tend not to have that much of a honeydew deficit anymore as long as they are actively playing the force events. So for most part of the week, if your zone is peaceful, just be a cultivator. When it is the weekend for Groundhogs or for the kill event, that means the war zone expedition, um, it makes sense to be a raider or a herder if your, the, if your goal is to bait other players to attack you. The raider's buff to the pro match means that if you are attacking groundhogs and you are trying for higher damage, then uh, being a raider has an, has an innate boost. For groundhogs, it doesn't make so much sense to be a herder at all um, uh, because um, the groundhogs aren't raiding your base, so added defense is pointless. For Warzone Expedition, um, uh, the Raiders and the Herders clash zone versus zone. So you want to be Raider or Herder depending on what your alliance needs um, uh, during Warzone Expedition. You are able to change class now every three days. That means each class change has a 72 hour time timer. So right now, um, it is in the middle of the um, uh, it is in the middle of the day on a uh, special end day. That means it's Thursday uh, 14 hours 45 minutes. And this is the best time, in my opinion, to change class from Cultivator to Raider in order to cover, in order to be able to change back to Cultivator for Gathering Day. So this is what I do. You very simply click on your queen, click on the class, and I'm going to Raider and click change class now and yes confirm and you can see the queen has changed all right and I, if i click on the queen again you will notice that there is a two day 23 hour 59 minute timer previously there was this item called a class change card um, and they were given out to players um, when this uh, update to allow for the three-day change um, uh, was introduced. Um, uh, however, I don't think you are able to purchase more class change cards at this point. Uh, if I urgently need to change class back to Cultivator or to Herder, then uh, I will need to use the card uh, if I'm changing class 
uh, within the three day cool down period. So three days from the special end day would be middle of the queue event day. So if I finish the queue event, uh, score the points that I need to score within the first 12 hours. And then if my plan is to pre-gather for the gathering day on Monday, then I would swap over to Cultivator early and send my troops to um, uh, gather. Alright, so thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.